Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Amanda. This is Grace. Grace, and this is who are you? Toby. Toby. Um, and we thought it would be fun to uh, do a little video for you. I learned about these um, resurrection rolls uh, just a couple days ago. I had never heard of them. Apparently, lots of people know about them, but we thought it would be fun. Um, to do a little video in case you don't know how to make them. Um, it's a fun thing to do to celebrate Easter this weekend. Um, so all you need to make these resurrection rolls uh, is some crescent rolls. Um, we're actually going to use a crescent dough sheet, um, but you can also use just plain old crescent rolls. Um, and marshmallows um, and your oven. So um, we're going to show you how to do that. Um, and then we're also going to do a little experiment because we have some peeps and they're chocolate pudding flavored peeps. So we are also going to see if this works with a peep. Is that good, Toby? Okay. So Grace is working on opening up our crescent rolls. So she's got the outer edge out. All right. Mommy, do your thing, Grace. Grace is a rule follower, so she's using a spoon like the directions say to. If I was doing it, I would be whacking it on the side of the counter right now. Oh, she got it. To roll all right, it so we're going to roll it all the way out. Yeah. On our cutting board. Okay, so we've got it all out flat. And then... We are going to grab the pizza cutter, Grace. So if you're doing this with the crescent, regular crescent rolls, you're just going to end up with a triangle. But I thought it would be cool for the sake of our Easter illustration um, if we cut our crescent rolls um, in two strips in the shape of a cross. So cut it in fairly thick strips. Mommy, I can't um, see. I would do a little bit wider. Mommy, I can't see. It's okay. See. You don't need to see. You get it? All right. And then do the same thing right next to it. You can leave that for now. Do the same thing right next to it. Just do the same thing all the way across. Okay. So she's going to cut some more strips. And then... We are going to use those with our marshmallows That's to keep me. up our illustration. Yes, Toby's going to help with the marshmallow part. Right, Toby? Do you like marshmallows? Yeah? All right, Toby, why don't we open marshmallow. our marshmallows? Okay, so I'm going to open the marshmallows. What color is this marshmallow? Um... What color is it? Um, white. White. That's right. This marshmallow is white. And it's actually a helpful illustration to have our marshmallow be white. Mommy. Because our marshmallow is going to represent who, Grace? Jesus. Jesus. And why would it be a good thing for something that represents Jesus to be white? Because Jesus was without what? Jesus never sinned. sinned. Yeah. So usually we talk about things that are white Mommy. being pure. Right. And Toby really wants to eat this marshmallow. Here, Toby. We'll get another one. Being pure. And so Jesus was pure and without sin. So it makes a really good part of our illustration for our marshmallow to be white. All right. So Grace has our strips all cut. So now, Grace, let's put one strip on our... All right, hold this one. Don't eat it, Toby. All right, so we're going to put this one. We have one strip going this way, and then Grace is going to put the other strip going the opposite way. So we have our cross, okay? And then we put the marshmallow And then in the we're going to put the marshmallow in the middle to represent Jesus on the cross. Mm -hmm. Because that is definitely the sad part of Easter. The sad part of Easter is that Jesus went to the cross for us, even though he was without sin, to pay for our sins. And you can see now, Grace is wrapping up our marshmallow. 
And we have to, wait a second, we have to make sure, just like the tomb that Jesus was put in, that our marshmallow is nice and sealed. Because what did they put in front of Jesus' tomb? A stone. A really big stone. Because what they were worried about was someone coming and stealing Jesus' body. So they put this big stone in front of his tomb to make sure that nobody could get in. Alright, so Grace is going to keep making a couple more. Noah, do you know how to... Noah just joined us. Say hi, Noah. Hello. Right, so we had to preheat... I forgot to preheat our oven. Um, but you preheat that for 350, whatever your directions say on your crescent rolls. So Grace has made another one. So she's doing her cross again. Noah wants to turn this time. So Noah's, Noah's going to wrap that one up because we're going to be... How do we do, do, we do with this one? Mm, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Do we have another one? We have one more strip that we don't have another this. strip for. We have crescents. You got to pull it all the way across, buddy, because we got to make sure our tomb is nice and sealed. Yes, we do have um, just regular crescent rolls. You could grab those if you want. So you got to make sure it's all sealed. No holes poking through. Mm -hmm. Those look really cool. So do you guys remember? Noah, you haven't answered any questions yet. Noah, do you remember how many days Jesus was in the tomb? One or two? No. Nope. Three. How many, Grace? Three. Three. So Jesus was in the tomb for three days before the happy part of Easter, the part that we as Christians celebrate on Easter, is that Jesus what? Marshmallow mouth. Resurrected? Resurrected, right. That's why we're calling these resurrection rolls, because Jesus was raised from the dead. Mm -hmm. So Grace is getting us out another thing of crescent rolls, because... My ambitious experiment only made three. And since we are a family of six, three is just not going to cut it. That's three. Yep, good job, buddy. So usually we would spend our Easter with our family up in St. Lawrence County. But unfortunately, this time we got to stay home and just have Easter ourselves. So if you have just regular crescent rolls, which is what we have for our second round... You're going to get these triangles, mm -hmm. so you can put your marshmallow at the big end. Should I put your marshmallow Mommy, I at the got, big end? Put I it got, right there. Put it right there, Tobes. Yee, da, da, da. I think it'll be easier if you put it on its side like this. Yeah. And then yeah. roll it up. Roll it up! Make sure it's nice and sealed. No, no holes, holes picking out. Yep. Well, these are the ones we made from crescent rolls. Oh, I got them. That's this the is one. what we made from dough sheets. So they're a little different in size, but I'm sure that they will still taste good. All right, Noah, can you get the peeps out of the out of the pantry? What are we doing with peeps? We're gonna try one with a peep and see what happens. They're chocolate pudding marshmallows. Yeah, they're chocolate pudding peeps, so they are definitely not the, the pure white um, marshmallow uh, representation. But we're going to see what happens. Can I make one? Another one? Yeah, yeah let no one. make the last one. Okay. All right, Tobes, you got another one? <laughs> he just rolled it all up. That's okay. He's doing a good job. Mm -hmm. And then he just covers up all the marshmallow. Right? Make sure there's no marshmallow showing. Nope. Right, and then they go in the oven according to whatever crescent rolls you're using. Um, I think, Grace, can you look? I think it's about 15 minutes. Careful, Noah. So we're going to put those in the oven for about 15 minutes. They should be a probably... 9 to 12. Oh, 9 to 12. Or if the doshi is... 10 to 13, so just do it. Alright, so we'll just do 10 and see what 11? Maybe we'll do 11. Let's do 11 and see what happens, because the dough sheet ones are a little thicker. 
All right, so now we wait for 11 minutes. Two minutes, Mommy. Two minutes, Toby. Two minutes. Oh, boy. What? I'm not sure we were successful at all of them. What? I think I should have put some tinfoil down, guys. I forgot that step. Why? Parchment paper or tinfoil, just in case. Lesson learned. <laughs> yep, that blew up. <laughs> All right, pull them out, Grace. Let's see. Let's see the explosion happen. Boosh! Boosh! Right. Boosh! Let's see. Mommy, where's the. Oh, All right, so there we are. You can see that. Uh, that all of them blew up. Our peep one was not super successful given everything that's uh, oozing out of it. Um, but I think there are a couple of them that stayed the way they should have. So, watch out, Toby. Are we gonna They're gonna be hot. Out? Don't touch. Open. Okay. Cut it open. So now we have an empty tomb. Yay, that one worked. Let's see. Nope. It's gonna be oozing out with Let's see. liquid. Okay. Alright. Oh, this one did not. Oh, there's a little bit of an empty tomb. I think we piled too high on top of that one. So, yeah. lesson learned. The crescent rolls work better than the dough sheets. I uh, mommy, I I got one. Um, mommy, we, we hope mommy, that we you will to give this a try. One. Maybe for a fun new family tradition. Um, and we hope that you will all enjoy celebrating Easter in whatever way you get to this year. What do you think, Noah? That's delicious. It's delicious. Remember, we always say at Sky Farm, if you're here in the summer, you know there is a God. God loves you, and God wants a relationship with you. And we hope you have a fantastic uh, Easter Mommy, Resurrection Day with it? your families. Did I push it? Bye. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> this is going to be in the bloopers section at the end. <laughs> no, that's gross, dude. Don't do that. What are we going to do? I don't know. She's um, we are not going to eat a whole bag of marshmallows. I'm that only, is what we are not going to do. This is my only second. I'm the toaster. I'm a toaster. I'm a toaster. Wait, I changed from Jeopardy to Jurassic Park. <laughs> I keep putting my hand in front of the camera. Uh -huh. Hannah's going to love editing this. Sorry, Hannah. Stop. <laughs> Watch Grace right dancing. These boys, when they get in front of a camera, they can't help themselves. Careful! 